Good morning, y'all. Good to be here. Andrew, add for Twitch partner. Are you a partner? No, not yet. We need to average. I'm averaging like 35 viewers per stream. Average, like average, like there's peaks and valleys. But like, there's, say if I stream for two hours, we'll hold like 35, maybe 40 if I'm lucky. Um, on there to hit partner, you have to hit that number's got to be about 75. So, um, I'd love to do that. I mean, that's my plan, but I'll have to stream more time to do. I'd have to build a little bit more. Um, if it ever gets to that point, um, good morning, good morning. If it ever gets to that point, I will, uh, where I can stream at home, I will really push it harder. Um, but I'd need to stream, I'd need to stream more than the two days a week for an hour or two, a shot to, to get there. Um, just to build the audience and build the numbers. I'd like to do that one day, but that's not an immediate, that's a long-term thing. That's something that'll take a while. <clears throat> New D2 season starts today. When will you play? As soon as it downloads. So I'll probably play uh, tonight, tonight when I get home. Have to, uh, oh, did my sub thing not work? I'm not getting sub sounds again. Y'all can, I assume, yeah, y'all can hear me, right? So the sub alerts. I didn't get in a sound, didn't get an alert, but thank you, Thunder Viking. I thought I had it set this morning. I'm going to look at something real quick. Yeah, it should be on there. Bummer. So I got no alerts, no sounds. But yes, uh, I'll, I'll be playing Destiny. I'll probably play some more Destiny on the um, <clears throat> on uh, stream as well eventually. Um, did y'all get sub sounds when uh, Thunder Viking resubbed? I don't know what's going on here again. Hmm. I'm very good. Thank you for the sub. I really appreciate it. I had a uh, I put the gift that I wanted on the sub alert that usually pops up and it looks like it should be there let's see I'm gonna test it again oh maybe it's not there working on let me check on something real quick because i at least have the the file and stuff where i want there media change media i want this and i want submit let me check the sound Submit, no sound, chimes. It doesn't like me for some reason. Yeah, the, the thing's being a little bit buggy. So, man, I was so excited. I thought I had it finally set this morning. <laughs> One more time, we're gonna. All right, almost there. Let's see. When I hit test, it's not showing it. Total mass media. Where's my sound? Alert settings, random, no, 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 no. Oh, sound file. There's no sound file on here. Let's update that. Sounds, stock file sounds, almost there. How about level up? Sure. Whoa, that was loud. Did y'all hear that? Coins. Where's the sound I used to have? Whoa, that was special. These are very loud too. I like that one. All right, 
Let's try. Every time I hit test, it doesn't like it. Let me save it again. Isn't this fun when I get, I get to play with the, the, the Twitch interface while y'all are sitting here saying, open the box, Brad. Open the box. It actually looks set correctly this time, though. Which is the bonus. Uh, subscription. There it is. Can y'all see that? Why wasn't there a sound? There should be a sound. Yeah, the sound's there. You can see the GIF, but no sounds. Okay, we can work on it later. That's there. Um, the sound file is in place. Everything's saved. All right, we're done with that. All right, how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Let me check on something real quick. Blue, 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 blue. Okay. Sorry, my phone was going blah, blah, blah. While we're doing it. Everyone have a good weekend. It's Tuesday, right? It's not Thursday. I, yesterday seemed like Wednesday for me. So, um, it was, it's, it's been, it's been a week already and a day, which is fine. Yesterday was a good day. Good, good busy day. Um, hey, Devin. I do not say blah blah blah. What's that from? Hotel Transylvania. That was a that was the only thing good to come out of that movie. Um, sorry, I'm I got too many alerts here. Too many alerts. All right. Did I get the Masubi email this morning? No, I'm not on the Masubi email. What does it say? Tuesday morning fight with the Twisby Go plunger getting stuck. Where does it get stuck? Is it like the spring jam or something? I haven't used it enough to uh, get it stuck yet, so I don't know um, what getting stuck would entail. We'll get the. I have I have three huge jet pins packages and then one small international package that I know what it is. It links to the refill notebooks. Rose gold Twisby, yeah, I saw the mint Eco, which looks pretty. Um, the Twisby seventy milliliter inks, I did see that they're going to do blue black in seventy mil. Um, I will get that one. I have the six pack of the first Twisby or the original Twisby inks. I have not opened those yet. I think I'm gonna give them away. At the bottom of the depression, so, if, but the spring is, uh, would it be articulating? Is that the, the word? What is it articulating? Um, let me move the mic away. I'm actually talking very loud. I'm also, I'm a little excited this morning. Thank you, coffee and tacos keep me up to date. Um, and I, I really shouldn't just be yelling. I'm really yelling. <clears throat> yes, I'll, I need to try the blue black. So that would that would be the top of my list. Are they going to have all the colors in seventy ml bottles? I like that they're doing the bigger bottles. And how much are the big bottles? That's a lot of questions for me this morning. Can you tell I'm hyped? I'm hyped. Very. I feel like I have to yell through the screen sometimes and project. <clears throat> Interesting. So only different colors are going to come in the 70 mils. The tiny ones were a limited edition. Hmm, that's interesting. Because those look like good base colors. I mean, I would think those would be your base color range after the introduction, right? Would make sense to me. But I will I will get the blue black at first opportunity. You know that the uh, the swab looked pretty interesting. Like it looked like it had some character, you know. But I'm okay if, with a blue black if it's just like a flat grayish blue black, like pelican blue black, lamy blue black. I think those are just like some of my favorite ink colors. Little ones were a test run. I think they succeeded, right? Would y'all say they succeeded? Feels like a success to me. Price was good. Packaging was good. Colors were fine. Like for your initial stock run, yeah, the bottles are great. 
I like the packaging. Um, Twisby has this very basic aesthetic that I get along with very well. Um, that's why the Eco made made my top stationary products of the decade list. Like we'll talk about that on the podcast tomorrow, but I mean the Eco kind of embodies like everything Twisby I expect out of that brand now. High quality, good price, interesting design, but still kind of, you know, simple, simple but fun. When does the uh, when does the blue black come out? Is that spring as well? Or should I try and be trying to get it now? It wasn't in my Jet Pins December release pack, which is what I have here. We're gonna unbox um, all my Jet Pins December stuff. Yeah, the Eco is just so good. It's a really impressive pen for what it is. Okay, so later this month with the Mint. Yeah, the Eco T is great. I mean, I prefer the Eco T because I like that uh, grip section better. But that just that works for me. Plus, the Eco T came with that blue cap, which is that might even be I might even like that one better than my two orange ones. I have the solid orange from Japan, and I have the basic translucent orange. The Eco T, the first one that came with the blue, um, that's that's my one. All right, so that just must be a late, a late arrival that I couldn't get um, with my list. But I will be on that immediately. You can, you can book that. Yeah, they do a lot of blues, aren't don't they? But I like the blue with the red cap. The clear eco is great too. I I thought I would like that one better than I did, but it's still great. Like they're all great. All right, we're good. I have four packages to open today. We'll do the first one, which is a non, sorry, which is the only non jet pins package that I'm opening today, but it is, uh, I know what this is. It's a Kickstarter project, the wingback. Do y'all recall the wingback? Yeah. I'm not a Twisby eco collect them all guy. Although I understand why people do it. Just same with Lamy safaris, but I see good reason to collect them all. They're pretty neat. So this is the wing back. Um, I've been I've been having to sign for a lot of my products from the UK here recently, which I didn't use to. So I had to sign for my William Hanna like eight dollar eight pound pack of notebook refills. I had to sign for this package, which I'm not always available to sign. So um, there's like a little pack of cards that comes with these. I like wing back's design. It's very Joy Division uh, unknown pleasuresy. So, of course, I like that. Morning, Brook and Bork. So, those are cool. But each card, like this card, is less but better. These are like um, like uh, philosophies. The art of pen maintenance. So, it tells you how to repair your pen. And the third one is let ideas flow and the cartridge. So, it's just got little tips and tricks on each of these little cards. Came in a little, um, little envelope. Um, just a little throw-in, little instruction packet and inspiration the sleeve is like a um it's like a khaki material it's not cordura it's like a it's it's really like a khaki pant material um i like this sleeve they the original one this is the wing back that i backed on kickstarter so they sent me one that i reviewed they sent me a brass barrel that i reviewed what three months ago four months ago and they sent the the pin in a pouch, like a drawstring pouch, which was fine, but I, I didn't really care for that. This is much better. Um, it's a sleeve, but it's not a top open sleeve. It's just got a corner uh, cut out here. You can see the pin in there. It's much more um, workable for the pin. You can actually use this to like put in your pocket or put in a bag or anything. And it's completely sealed off aside from the cut here, which this is a good design. I like this design. So I backed it so I could get the steel one, stainless steel model. Um, and then I also got it etched to say the pen addict on the back, which there's no way you'll be able to see that. It's teeny tiny. Can you focus on that? I doubt it. 
So I got that little etching there. Um, my only issue with that is the etching is a is a, a different size than the wingback logo. They should be the same size. Like, hey, no sound, but I got the GIF. <laughs> Thank you, Tony, for your 12 months of subscription. Uh, Craig and Ariana, very, very much appreciate it. <laughs> well, that's running long. How long does that run for? It's still going. It's still going. It's still going. Is it going to stop? So we were messing with this before, Tony, because it wasn't working. Now it is working, but it won't stop. <laughs> Y'all still see that, right? It's still on your screens. That's a thing. That's a whole thing. All right, let me pull this up. That is a whole thing, chat. Oh, Craig. Ariana, how do you... What is happening? Whoa. It went away, but I don't know how to... I didn't do it. So that had to be like a full minute. <clears throat> Font weight, media. There's my media, animation. Delays, resubs, font size, font weights. Sorry, I'm reading this out loud. Um, I didn't change any timing stuff. Hmm. Welp, chat. I still don't have the sounds. Even though it says the sounds are there. And we got to figure out how to get this to run for 2 seconds instead of like a minute. So we'll work on we'll work on that. Sorry about that. So if anyone subs, um yeah, at least Tony broke it. So, um, hmm, <laughs> I'm a little concerned now. I'll just turn it off. I'll just turn it off if it continues to act this way. So anyway, uh, wingback pen. It's knurled grip, knurled twist mechanism. I think this is probably like the Schmidt Easy Flow. What is that Schmidt 9000 Easy Flow ballpoint? Um, it's a very cool mechanism. It's just twist and it kind of snaps into place can hear that a little bit along with the train it's just a good size a good feel and I backed it because I like the pin but it because it came in stainless steel I think I gave away I gave away the brass one they sent me so is this the Schmidt it looks like it must just be Parker style refills um, yeah it's a satisfying click so it's like a mechanism that they built for this pin uh, Oh, this is a space pen refill. That's cool. So I can swap in. This is the broad black one. So I can swap in the blue one um, on that, which is my preferred thing. Yeah, the only my only complaint is that the wingback logo font and the uh, laser etching font are two different sizes. So the laser etching font, it may be because my the, the lettering, I just put the pen addict on here, maybe because it's too many letters, they had to scale down. But it's, I would want it to look like the wing back. I'll take some pictures of it later. It's not a, not a deal breaker by any stretch. The, uh, the weight, the fit, the feel of this pen, good all the way around. So good job by wing back. I don't know how much I paid for this. Y'all have to look it up. It was just the regular Kickstarter backing. Um, I want to say it was around ninety dollars US. You know, borderline. It's it's fine. Like the price was fine. Obviously, I paid for it. Um, but it was not like inexpensive. It was it was ninety bucks, hundred bucks, somewhere around there. So that's fine. All right. So I have three jet pins packages to open. Thank you, Tony. Why aren't my alerts making sounds today? That really ticks me off. It's just so random. It's gonna make me mad. Anyway, I've, I've messed with this enough today. 
I'll just turn it off if it doesn't work anymore. So, sorry, three jet pins packages, two of which were my December order from like the pre the current release and pre-release items, and then the third package was some stuff I ordered just for me um, for my wife's stocking, and then I don't remember what else. So, one of these boxes and packages I know what's in. The other ones are from the the pre-order stuff, so I don't know what's what or what's where, and I don't totally know everything that's in all these boxes, so let's see what we got. How is y'all's Christmas shopping coming? I think I'm almost done. I said that last time. I think I have like one thing. Good morning, Tessa. Oh, and I missed some good mornings earlier. Good morning, Miss G's Crafters. I did see you there, um, and everyone else who I missed. Ananda, Evan, Sandra... Okay, I, th I don't know if I'm caught up, but I did I did see a bunch of y'all. Okay, this is my order that I placed. Um, one from y'all's recommendations. I got those. Um, we talked about it was probably like a month ago. The Roar and Klingner inks. I think you got those, Tony. Uh, oh, did I lie already? What the hell is this? Excuse, pardon my French. Um, okay, scratch that. This is a box I don't know what it is. This is one of the pre-release boxes. So I was confused because these bottles look like the Roaring Klingner bo boxes that I ordered from. But they're not. These are Colorverse boxes, which I don't know what's going on here. These are individual 30 milliliter bottles of Colorverse. Are these launched yet on the site? We'll have to go look. So this one's called Rainy Day. Um, I'm guessing it's a blue-black. Earth Edition, Joy in the Ordinary, Season 6. But they're just basic bot 30 milliliter bottles instead of the sets. What are the sets? Uh, 50 and 20? Is that right? If you buy the, the, the big box? Okay, so how much are these under new releases? I should pull this up so I don't have to ask y'all everything. Except my, it makes my face very bright. Thirteen seventy-five for thirty milliliters. Okay, so these must have just launched to yesterday, probably yesterday afternoon. So, what is the story with these series? This is dedicated to everyday pleasures, like a nice coffee break or taking your dog for a walk. So, nothing extremely special about these inks other than the the theme that they're on it does say there's R, it does have a rgb uh color stamp in here so i'm gonna see that so i got what well, i got i picked out two i picked out rainy day and coffee break i like the little artwork on the side of these it comes in at all there you go those are pretty cool i mean you know that doesn't affect the ink obviously but um it's just a neat to look at these are very like if i don't if i don't slice this open i will tear the lid off this box i think the way these are stuck on there yeah i did that pretty well they just have little little things on their boxes everywhere like little logo designs Logo designs here. They just It's just a neat little setup. Um, whatever this little cap is for, I don't know. Rainy day would be appropriate here today. Oh, these bottles are new. So that's like the mid-size bottle. Little, it's like their oval shape. It's like their uh, 60 milliliter bottle cut in half, right? It's like got the indention in the front and then the rounded, the rounded back. What I wanna see is the RGB details so it comes with all these little inserts so this is a set of stickers for the six releases in there those are little um, squares within those squares that you can pull remove and make six stickers out of 
Okay, it does have the RGB codes for every every ink in there. So I know it's not clear, but like the top line under the specs is RGB scale. Oh, it also has uh, the web color, the hex code. It's got the Pantone, and then it also has surface tension and pH. That's just kind of neat. I like. I mean, I like that additional thing. Like, I won't use that information for anything. Maybe if I really like that color, I'd like the hex code or something like to throw on a website. Um, yeah, it seems fine. We'll see. Uh, I, yeah, I love the bottles. I like the shape. Um, it's at least deep to where you can, you know, fill it. You know, more than halfway, maybe just dipping the nib in there before you have to get into like a syringe or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know that the ink colors are going to be special. We'll have to see. I'll test them out later. Um, the swabs don't necessarily look like completely inspiring, right? Like they look fine. So we'll see how these work. I do like that they've made a series of smaller inks. So rainy day and coffee were what I picked. Um, pretty cool. Like see 30 milliliters, 1375. Seems good. I like the bottles too. All right. Um, I'm a sucker for the uh, the Kurataki Coco Iros, which I'll open these. What did I get? So I got fuzzy sheep and looks like baby panda. Um, I'm gonna open up the sheep one. They're the, both the same insert, but if you're not familiar with the Coco Iros, I want to show you them because I like them because they're neat. They're a liquid ink refill, um, and they come in a brush tip or a rollerball tip. The stock is the brush tip, which is what this is. Um, and the back end, this is actually the refill. So the refill comes out like this. It's like an entire refill unit, right? So this is essentially your refill like you can buy refills but it's pretty much like buying the whole pen and then the coco iros are basically just a sleeve over over the refill um so caps on um and then caps on the back as well so i like them because they're a fine firm brush tip um, I also like them because they're in fun colors and patterns. So I, whenever they release, like they'll release five or six of these at a time and I'll pick out like one or two. Like last time, what did I get? I got like um, polar bear and anteater or something like that. I don't know. I just like, I just, I just like the fun stationery like this. You know, I'll buy anything with like animals or patterns on it or something like that. Okay, so this is the new Platinum Prefonte, which is just a terrible name. So this is the one we're calling the Prefontaine, just because it makes sense to do that. This color looks hot. This is vermilion orange. So this is like the upgraded Platinum Preppy barrel, but in the, um, would it be better if I did the desk cam for these? Let's see if it's better. It may not be better. I don't know if that works better or not. Well, no, because it's upside down. And flipped. I have to flip that one back. I think I can flip that one here. Let's see. Nope. I have to do that outside the app. So I'd have to restart to do that. So it's fine with the main cam, I think. Anyway, the color looks good. Yes, the mint green Twisby Eco. We were talking about that earlier. It's fantastic looking. Is the Prefonte available now? I don't know if it's available on jet pins, but I know it's available elsewhere. <clears throat> Coco Iro is available. Mm, I'm not seeing it without typing. Yeah, not yet. It doesn't look like. Um, but it should be in the next week or two. I don't have the dates in front of me. I can look it up. 
and I don't know the price point right offhand. But it's basically, it's the same preppy nib. This one has a little bit of tipping on it, where the preppies, I didn't think I had much tipping on the nib. And this one is the 0.5 millimeter, which they call fine, I believe. They have the point th the 03 is their extra fine. So this is 05, which I think, or do they call it, or is it M for medium? Maybe I have that wrong. Um, I think it's 05 millimeter. So I think they do consider this the fine. Um, 05s and 03s. So yeah, we'll see. I'm not going to open this up yet and test it because I don't know who I'm going to send this to. Like I got to send a bunch of this stuff off. Um, for reviews oh here we go i got the 03 f and the 05 m so that answers my question that i had so the 02 must be extra fine okay tony just put it in there thank you tony so the 03 f in blue black so i stayed on brand here we got blue black and we have orange there are delays in getting these out. So if they've sent them to me, they obviously have them in. So that means they'll be releasing them this month, which should be in the next. It could be this week. It could be next. I have dates in my email. I'm not going to I'm not going to look them up unless you really want me to do. Really, if you want me to look them up, I'll look them up because I have the release dates for all these. Um, but yeah, it just looks like the it's a upgraded preppy. It should fall under the plazier uh, price point. Right. So, yeah. Oh, no, Sarah, I picked them out. <laughs> I'm going to send you the orange one, I think. Um, I don't know what this is. Sorry. It says Bronze Age. Bork and Bork, you want me to look that up? Okay, I will. As soon as that phone. So, I don't have any description on this box. The uh, the writing out here, so it says Bronze Age, Nib Color Gold, Nib Size 1.1. I know what this is. That's that new, what's that new pen, that brass pen? Are those out? Fine Writing International. Yeah, these are those good looking, these are the pens that look good on Instagram. That's what these pens are. All right, I'm going to look up Bork and Bork's thing real quick. Glad to do it. Just give me a second here. Alright. Platinum Prefonte is twelve ten. So this afternoon, they should have them bork and bork. That is um, unofficial. You know, I wouldn't like bet my life on it, but they're scheduled for um, 1210. So look for them this afternoon. I think they do drops around 1 p.m., but I could be wrong. All right, so this is the Fine Writing International thing, thingamajing. Oh, the Chameleon Fine Liners? Don't like them as much as the regular pens. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I appreciate that. Try not to destroy this box while I open it. It looks like a, it's like a fabric castell size Twisby looking box. Hey, Beanie Duck. Good morning. Son of a biscuit eater. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I guess I'm just going to have to rip this to get it open. All right, so this is the Fine Riding International Bronze something or other. So this box, it's craft, but at least has a, a fancy sticker on here. Fine Riding. I think that says bronze above it. If it doesn't, I'm going to go with that. It might say flow. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, it's the Fine Riding logo. It's a FW with a, <laughs> with a feather. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's nothing new, I guess. Um, so the official name, Bronze Age Brass Fountain Pen. Fine Riding Broad. Good morning, Michael. Bronze Age Fine Riding Fountain Pen. Oh, look at that fancy. Look at that fancy uh, syringe. Dang, that thing is terrible. <laughs> All right, as you could imagine, this pen has some weight to it. 
This is the an Instagram darling fountain pen for obvious reasons. It'll take photos very well. It's not taking this lighting very well. Um, hmm. Sure, let's try the try the desk cam again, see if I can get y'all a better shot of this. There you go. So you can see it's like got a I don't know how many sides are on this. Six, eight sides. Every other every other side has like a little etching in it, a little engraving on there. Um, the mid barrel is, is uh, plastic, and then the end here is brass again. So it's very heavy with the cap. Um, and then it has the brass section. Looks like it's got um, yeah. So the whole section is brass. It looks like. And then it has the 1.1 stub nib the, with the Fine Writing International logo. Yeah, it looks like a long Kaveco Sport. Yeah, if you took out the midsection and just hooked it together, it would be like the Kaveco Brass Sport. Um, then it's got the converter in there. It's interesting. Um, I wanted to review this one just because it's gotten a lot of hype. Because it's a very photogenic pen, right? I don't know what that logo is on there and it's hard to get there for you but it's cool it's cool is it a hundred bucks cool I don't know maybe could be so we'll have to test this out and see it looks I don't know what kind of stub this nib this is very Yovo ish their etching on the nib their laser etching is not great it's just a little messy. I know you can't see that. Can't quite make that out. So it's good. It's it seems okay. Like doesn't smell too bronzy. Not too metallic. I'm sure y'all enjoyed me smelling that on there. So um, that will go out to the review crew for future review for sure. Just because um, that's just kind of one of those pins that everyone asks about. All right, last thing. Looks like I got a stamp pad. Uh, VersaFine Deep Lagoon Blue. I think I got this um, just to play around with my big stamp. I think it's just, you know, your standard archival. Yeah, long lasting pigment ink pad. Yeah, just to color, use my, uh, I'm gonna use my stamps more. I wanted something besides the black ink that I used, so seems cool. VersaFine works well, so that's a good choice. Uh, JetPens just got them in stock. I did see those up on there, up on the site. So that was part of my December, December preview box. I have more to go. Let me just put these back in here so I'm not, uh, completely making a mess as we go so we st still have a very big box down there and then we have my order which is pretty small which I thought was this one which just came in like this size box um yeah beverage I'm thirsty and I'm hyped today Just water today. Had enough coffee this morning. All right. I'm guessing this is something I ordered outside of the December thing. Like I said, I needed to. My wife needed some new pens for her, so I'm just getting them to put in her stocking. I ordered those uh, Roar and Klingner inks that we talked about on stream like a month ago. Finally, oh, it looks like I ordered. Man. This seems like more December stuff. I'm very confused right now. This is not... Hmm. No, I think I ordered these. 
and then I just threw in some random stuff that was new. Do you ever use embossing powders? I do not because I don't know what that is. Can you explain that? Because it sounds interesting. Okay, this is my order. They just put some of this stuff in this other. It was a box in a box in a bag kind of thing, which was confusing me. And then I ordered some extra stuff that I forgot about. So this is the actual stuff I ordered. It must be in this box and the extra stuff I ordered is in. Yeah, all right. No longer confused. I know y'all worried there for a second, right? Um, <clears throat> sorry. I always forget I unwrap these right in the microphone. I know that's loud and annoying. So these or the two Roaring Klingner inks that y'all told me I should try. Um, I think specifically Tony said you had these these inks. When you stamp with a VersaFine pad, you can put embossing powder on top of it and heat it and it turns like the sh Ooh, that sounds dope. Okay, embossing powder is a new term that uh, I'll have to look up. Just like those laser, those the laser printed uh, foil stuff from last week. I've learned these things. All right, let me get both of these open. It's ridiculously tight, but it's ink. I appreciate the packaging. So I got Frida and Carmen. These are the Roaring Klingner sketch inks um, that I overlooked completely until y'all told me about them last week. <laughs> you got kilos of the stuff. I don't know if I want you to send me kilos of powder between continents. I'm gonna say that's a no. I'm gonna say that's a no-go. <laughs> All right, so these are the uh, waterproof uh, Roaring Klingner art inks. But do y'all use these in just regular fountain pens? It's just like a regular, like a pigmented type of ink. And, um, you know, no issues with with that because the colors looked awesome. But I think I purposefully didn't order them because I was worried about them. But so, okay, so it says for fountain pens, rollerball pens, and brushes. So yeah. <laughs> um, I might, I actually might take you up on that offer because that would be fun to play with. Because I'm gonna play with more stamps and stuff. Um, soon <laughs> dear customs inspector <laughs> right so yeah these I'm anxious to just try these for myself this is what I was looking for so <laughs> can you tell what kind of what color of pens my wife likes so I've shown you all these before because I just have to keep reordering them because they don't have refills this color I don't think so this is the inner gel I gotta get the name right because they call these two different things. One's teal and one's turquoise, but I don't know which one's which. Why doesn't it say on here? I thought they used to say. Anyway, this is the Energel 0.7. Um, she goes through these a bunch at work. So she's like, I'm out. I'm out of my my ink ran out. So why don't you get some of those for my stocking this year? So that's that. And then she likes the um, the Pentel. Um, sorry, Papermate Ink Joy gels, which this also doesn't list the color. One of them's teal. It might be Pacific. I'll have to look them up. Oh, you know what? They're on my, uh, this will be quicker. So the inner gel is called turquoise and the paper mate is called teal. So I had it right. I just didn't know which one was which cause they're pretty close. Um, these are both, um, really great pen options. And if you like colors, um, you know, colored gel inks. These are some of the best. I mean, all the colored gel ink manufacturers do a good job. 
So I don't have any that I'm disappointed with. Shockingly, the Papermate uh, Ink Joys are really good. Um, and you can get them at the store. Like they have these at the grocery store. Not in all the fancy colors, but you can probably find something besides the basic colors uh, there. So yeah, cool. Um, I want to put these back in in the popper. Just so I don't... Until I get them home. Don't lose them. Right, so that's that. Where's my ink? There's a couple other things in these packages, which I added on, which confused me. Uh, sketching you can go in there. So these. So this is something new from Uni. Um, it says it's the Emot Everfine. So we'll just call these the Emote. And these must just be like a drawing pen type of thing from Uniball. If I look correctly, I think they're up on the site. They seem to be rather expensive for art style pens. Maybe it's because they give you a, that's a plastic stand. So you can just stand them up on your desk, you know, like that, um, which is cool, but you're paying for it, right? I think they're like three bucks a shot. Are these up yet? The emote pens. Oh wow, that VersaFine pad was like nine bucks. That seems expensive. So this five color set, I don't know which five color. This is the retro set and it's fourteen seventy five. So yeah, they're like three bucks a pop. That's pretty expensive, I think. I mean, I guess it's in the ballpark. Other drawing pins I like are all like two fifty, so I guess that's not that bad. But, um, and if you buy the set, it comes on a little stand-up case. Um, wow, WTF was banned, except we have, our moderator has WTF in his name. That's funny. So let's see. These are like, um, if you've used the Statler Tripus fine liners, that's about this barrel thickness. They actually, they're uh, one, these are four-sided, where the Triplus is three-sided. Um, it feels very similar, but the tip is different. So, what the hell is going on here? Oh, this is almost like a fiber tip. Oh, I might like these. These are very pointy tips. Not like a marker, not like a marker tip. I don't know if you can see... But the color on the tip is just at the end. So I was opening this up thinking it was gonna be like a marker. My apologies, I can't get this in there. But they might have a better picture on the Jet Pens product page of what the actual tip looks like. Yes, let me bring this up instead. Now I'm interested. That's what the tip looks like. And this is like your old uh, plastic tip um, markers. That's pretty cool. I am more interested in these now than I was before. Paper Cat Lady, thanks for the sub. We didn't get a gift that time, so I don't know what I have broken. We'll worry, worry about it later. So when I opened this, I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be just like your standard colored marker tip where like it's like the full felt plastic tip where it's all the color of the thing but it's not <clears throat> I am color me interested now not that I wasn't before but now I'm very very curious on what this is going to be like and there's a bunch of colors they are expensive so there's a 40 color set so there's at least 40 of these colors you can get. You can't get all of them in singles either. You can get, what, about 10 of them in singles, but then they have it up to like a 40 color set here. We'll see. We'll see what the quality is like on these. I will use these a lot um, to get a good idea of what they are because if these are good, this is going to be something that I will personally enjoy because that's the style of pen that I like. Hmm. 
I am interested. Um, this last thing is something I have um, used before, and it's the Robiki note. And I, I bought this one for a reason, which will show up later in this event. Um, okay, so that was just so it didn't get bent. So the Robiki notes are like tall. Let me take this down. Sorry. Click. Are like uh, tall, skinny notebooks. Um, the outside is a wax coated um, cover stock. It feels neat, and it'll it'll wear over time. And the inside, this is like just a faint gray dot grid um, on a light cream paper. You can't see the grid. They're so light. It's actually hard for me to even see them. Um, sitting here without much light on here it's very faint or is this reticle that's reticle so that's how that's how faint they are I couldn't tell if they were dot or reticle on here um, I have a cover for these in this other box so I wanted to get this get this out here fresh because so I can use this cover and they're very fountain fountain pen friendly um, they're good with everything and I just love this style it's a unique style um, and they're just cool and like getting to know the owners over the past couple of times i've been to the san francisco pin show um it's great it's great all right so let me get into this last box here so we're going to keep this robiki note yeah it's one of those things like there's no perfect use case for this right it's such a weird size, but like, I like having the one just for something. Um, I've given a bunch of these away just because they're unique, but it's also like you say, it's not something you would necessarily buy for yourself, right? Because how does this fit into my stationary needs? And a lot of times it doesn't, it just lit literally doesn't fit. Robiki, R-O-B-I-K-I, note, N-O-T-E. They're made by Yamamoto Paper, who recently um, did that fountain pen. Uh, they, they're known for the paper tasting samples, and then that fountain pen paper pad set that they just uh, produced. This is one of their other products. So you can look up Yamamoto Paper, or this is specifically the Robiki Note, R-O-B-R-O-B-I-K-I. All right, we're going to get these out right at the top because they're here, and we just will continue the uh, conversation about this. Love mine. Use it as a planner book bark for quick list. Totally, right? It can go inside of other things. But I bought this with a reason because I saw these gosh darn Robiki note canvas covers <laughs> on, the, on Instagram the other day and knowing that I already love the product and knowing how much I love cases and covers, I was like, I have to have this. So I was going to go find, figure out how I can order it. Then I saw it on the jet pins list. So these are coming soon. I don't think they're there yet. So let's take this apart and see what we got here. Because now we're all going to have more of a reason to buy them. Cause this isn't just like a sleeve. I think it's like a fold open cover as best as I can tell. It's made out of organic cotton, hundred percent organic cotton, very thick and durable. Don't machine wash it. All right. So yeah, it's a thick canvas. Oh, it's a very thick can cotton canvas. Um, this is like, I guess the, since it doesn't cover itself, so this is, um, it doesn't cover itself. It's not like a zip closed book. This is your band to close it. Like you see some notebooks have this, right? Hey, even supposing. Woohoo! You, you slept in then. Um, so this is for, this is your bands to add in. Oh, look at that. It put up that old, that old GIF on there. That's like the default gift. That the whole thing is screwed up. Thank you, something on paper for the sub. My, uh, I tried to, to mess with my, um, 
alerts and I screwed them up. So not a shock here. So it's the outside cover. It's got pockets here. We'll see what fits in here in a, oh, that neurobiology, my goodness. How good is that? So there's a sleeve here, which is, that's the only pocket on the inside. So this is the inside of the notebook and it's made for the back cover of the Robiki note to slide in. Okay, so that's how that works. So it slides in there and it's just a cover for it, right? So there's your cover, but the front also has a zip pouch. So you could put your pens in here or whatever other stationary items you have in the front. So that's the front part of the pouch. So you can fill that up. Um, that might affect how you, um, this is a Robiki note. So it's made to fit their oddly sized Robiki note notebooks. So in addition, it has pouches on the front and back here. Let's see if I can get these out. So the front cover and the back cover have like a two thirds length pocket. I wonder if they could fit other Robiki notes. It is odd. It's an odd notebook from an odd company making odd things, which is why I like it. Oh, I see. So the front, so the back side is wide enough to hold another one, but the front side has a divider right here. So you could hold pen, smaller notebook, note cards, whatever in that thing. So yeah, very cool. I don't know which color I like better. I probably like the canvas, like the natural color one. So this is like a tan one. Um, and then a navy blue one, but it, they look, both look good with the red band on them. So it's cool. Let me put this back together because I'm going to probably give it away, send it out or something. But yeah, it's a highly specific cover for a highly specific notebook. And that's something I'll always enjoy when products are okay with being telling you these are my rules. And if you're going to use it, you kind of got to play by these rules. And if you don't, that's okay too. Like these are our rules for this product. It's tall and skinny, so it's not going to fit other stuff. Oh, hang on. I'm going to put the band back on. So yeah, I like products with an opinion. That said, I'm the one who yells about uh, notebook standards too. So, you know, can't win them all. <laughs> it doesn't fit my other stuff. But yeah, I do like products that um, have rules too. All right, let's see if I can get this back in here in some way, shape, or form. So like, no, I would never make a notebook this size. Um, but I'm glad someone does, and then they made a cover on top of it. Um, what have you missed this morning? Just all the unboxings unboxing stuff um i don't know why i ordered this but it's a bunch of sushi stickers i mean there's no such thing as too many stickers right good morning schmevelin all, all the west coasters sleeping in today i can appreciate that i can appreciate that <clears throat> so yeah just little sushi stickers for planners or whatnot I don't know who makes these. Is it Midori? Yeah, Midori makes these. Sticker Marche. Sushi, sake, all kinds of stuff. All right, Let's see what else we got in this box. Who knows what's in here? There's one thing I'm expecting that was delayed that I don't know if I'm going to get or not. I wasn't told yay or nay on it. <clears throat> All right. I ordered some washi tape because I always do whenever there's new colors. So, um, yellow dots, pink checks, no lighting. Oh, 
Oh, I got these because you can write on these. So this is the writable Mark's Maste tape, right? This is Mark's. Yep. And then this one's from Moramon. It has, um, see in between those two black lines there is like a date um, task list thing. So you can just put like a little date thing on there. This is also writable. So I've been playing around with these writable washi tapes. All right. Is this another one? Oh, I went all in with the Mark's mass data. So this is a blue dot. It's like a mint tealy blue. My daughter used all my, like 90% of my washi tape. So here's like a green stripe. So these are all very pretty. I like these. I'll use these. And I will need to hide these better. Because she used, I think, like out of like the six or eight neon rolls that I had, um, they're like three quarters gone. Yeah, so I bought a bunch. Blue gingham. Pink stripe. You can see them better when you see the tape. Yeah, the mint blue Eco T looks awesome. And I'm interested in the 70 milliliter blue black ink bottle too. That looks cool. Um, I'm not going to get the Eco T just because I have enough. But um, I love them. I just love them. Okay. I got a Y Studio pen. I'm not sure which one this is though. Oh, it's a roll. It's a brassing roller ball. Let me see if this is what I think it is. And if it is, we're going to be in good shape. We're going to, I am going to enjoy this one. Oh, Sarah, if you're still here, you said the other day you needed some more stuff. This is what I was waiting for. So I'm going to have you something out this week. If your name's not Sarah Inkwell Monster, then ignore that last statement and just say, okay, Brad, whatever you say. <clears throat> Their little boxes are fancy. All right, Beanie Duck, go kind of sort of work. Um, yeah, their packaging is always cool. Yeah, you're paying attention. All right, yeah, I, I have a bunch of stuff I got to send out, so which I was waiting for this stuff. Yay, this is what I hoped it would be. So this is a match to the fountain pen. I guess this is new from Y Studio. Um, it's the same, uh, hex barrel that the fountain pen has, except it's a roller ball. So it's got the same black brassing barrel, which I love. It's like the same size, same feel. And what, uh, refill does this thing take? Where does this come apart? Um, hmm. Thing doesn't want to come apart oh well i'll have to tell you later what kind of refill it takes it's a black rollerball refill <laughs> that's all i know right now mm. Let's see what it writes like So this will match my fountain pen that I love from them. I'm surprised they didn't launch this a long time ago, to be honest. It's such a cool design. I just love that barrel shape and design. Like there's nothing to it, no clip or anything like that. Oh, there's how you get the refill out. No wonder I couldn't get it. It's got the, the thread in the back. Uh, do I have something I can open that with? Because I'm curious. I don't have anything. Oh, my knife. Let's see if this will actually work. Yeah, my knife doesn't want to work either. Uh, what else do I have here? Oh, there we go. Fingernail works. Okay, so it's just got a, a little bolt in there with the spring backing. 
This is a big boy Schmidt. This is the Schmidt Ceramic Roller 5888. So I don't know what's gonna match this. They make refills for this. Um, I don't know offhand what's gonna work for this. This might be Pilot G2 compatible, to be perfectly honest. So like I could use Pilot Juice in here because the front end looks a lot like that. If I had a Pilot Juice here or a G2, I'd try it, but I don't. I bet you this will fit the G2. We will try this sooner than later. Because if it does, then we're in business. Like this refill is perfectly fine. I would bet that the pilot's on there. Cool, we'll see how that does. I like it, but y'all know I like Y Studio as it is anyway. So it's just a cool brand. And now I have the, do I have the pencil? Yeah, I have the pencil. I think I have do I have a complete set now rollerball was the last one so who knows approved the approved whoops oh there's the sandpaper that comes with it what else <laughs> So this is, does that mean it's 600 grit sandpaper? That just cracks me up. Anyone hope for something special for Christmas? Anyone got anything? What are we hoping for for Christmas? empty bag of I bought myself a pen I like it all right so this is what's the low-end sailor called this is a it's a Nagasawa but it's a steel nib are we calling these the profit what do they call these oh a nice watch I like that what is the name of these? This label's all in Japanese. I can't read it. Regardless, there's a whole set of like six of these pastel colors. Um, so I picked one of the bright ones. This looks very neat. I like it. It's pretty. <laughs> Your sister goes crazy. All I want for Christmas is a 12-hour shift. Preach. So yeah, I apologize. I don't know the name of this. This is a sailor from Nagasawa pen shop it's a steel nib so and there's like six colors pink uh, purple two shades of blue maybe a yellow very pastel -y range looks very pretty um, I just don't recall the name of it right off the top of my head but it seems good you know it's a little bit small it's like the 1911 uh, standard as opposed to the large you know a little less accoutrements on it Yes, the spoke pencil will be getting more colors eventually. So yeah. This is your more basic level Sailor steel nib pen, but in a cool store color. And I think there's at least six of them when I when I pick these out. Ooh, the Paniter Honeycomb. That's such a pretty pen. All right, next. <clears throat> Tactile turn, proudly made in Texas. I think I got a, I think I asked for the pencil. Yeah, I didn't have the pencil. Cause I didn't like the pencil, the, um, when I originally saw it, so I wanna test it out for myself. The, um, the eraser style on these, I didn't think was a great decision, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Oh, you can use it without an eraser. So there you go. A new cast iron teapot. That sounds dope. So did I get stainless steel? Because this feels like stupid heavy. Yes, yeah, stainless steel 0.5. This is cool. This thing is like rock solid. I probably should have gotten a wider um, insert. But I can fix that. So yeah, this is the bolt. It's the bolt action pencil. Ooh, That's pretty cool. And... So yeah, so the erasers just go on the end here. 
right there you can see there's a little hole so that's in your little set of erasers i like this it is this, this thing is heavy in a good way like it's not it, when i write with it it feels okay hmm hmm interesting i like this I need to think about this one a lot. It's not easy to get me to shut up and I can't, I don't have the words for this because I'm surprised. It feels really good. I'm surprised in a good way. We'll have to play around with that one. Maybe send that one to Jeff. I don't know. I may play around with that myself. I can't review everything, so I got to meter these out. Jeff usually gets all the machine stuff tends to be his jam <clears throat> I like that though might have to play with that a little bit more all right oh platinum so maybe this is the Carillion. carnelian carnelian is that carnelian's a star wars thing isn't it and carnelian's a pink what is this called yeah this is it This box is heavy. Carnelian, this one. So there's the box. This color is really, really pretty. So it's a smooth exterior barrel. Um, it's got a little bit of faceting on the interior, which you probably can't see here. I got this in a medium nib. Um, this looks great. This is a great color. <laughs> what was up with that pink sailor pin on your Instagram? We'll talk about that in a sec. Hold that thought. Look at that. This is really really pretty does it have sparkles in it I can't tell the lighting's not great in here like the lighting is good for the camera but it's it's actually kind of dark at my at my desk just by the way the the cameras work oh yeah there are the sparkles this is really pretty y'all good job is this one limited do they do is this one limited or is this one gonna be stock I haven't totally dug into it yet there's no like, I don't see any number thing on here. Did they lower the price on it too? I don't even know. It's really nice. I like it. How does the shade of red compare to the Shungyo? It's it's orangier and brighter. If I don't, if I think about it before I send this one off, um, I'll try to take a picture. It's way brighter. Uh, not way brighter, but it's more orange. It's a little bit different color. The uh, Shungyo has a deepness to it, where this has a brightness to it. Um, and I definitely think it's an orange thing. Leaving it open, open-ended, possibly could be something, not numbered. Yeah, and there's no even card with it. Like, sometimes they've been doing just, like, the cards with it. Um... I think that I thought that card system was dumb. Either number it or don't. Like I'm I'm cool either way. Just yeah. Um very pretty. Better looking in person, I think, than in pictures. Where I think the Star Ruby is better looking in pictures than in person. I don't know why. <clears throat> Okay, I bought this, or bought this. I was given this. I chose this because I think it's dumb and overpriced. This is the Sailor Fountain Pen Maintenance Kit. Yeah, that needs to be a regular lineup pen. Oh, I haven't opened it. It's taped up. So it has... This is like way... It's going to be way overpriced for what it is. But it's got like a, a little mini pen flusher, a syringe, and then like a polishing cloth. And it's just like a little Sailor branded little kit. It's probably like 
12 or 15 bucks like you could get all this stuff for like three or four dollars so i just wanted to look at it and see um what it is before i forget and before i finish the box um tessa that pink pen is the bung box pink love um fountain pen and i posted that because i um I was writing an article, the article I posted yesterday for the top 10 stationary products of the decade. I chose that pen because it was like the gateway drug for me into like Sailor Limited Editions. That was the first pen that I kind of chased. Um, still probably my favorite out of all the ones, any of the other ones that I've bought. So um, yeah, I made a point to, uh, to take a picture of that and link that on there. So that's what that was. Snooze on the Sailor thing. Yeah, it is. I just wanted to get it probably because it was overpriced and just to see how overpriced it is so we can so we can educate all right i bought this all right tony pay attention if you're not paying attention these mormon it's a card size business card size notebook except in this pack right here that's three notebooks so i bought this to test in the Tallulah that i didn't bring but it looks like it might fit perfectly for that it is so tiny so yeah this has three notebooks in it let's take them out here yeah i think these are pretty much traditional business card size notebooks moramon so you know it's good paper um gridded very faint i know you can't see it faint grid there um yeah this is going to fit the Tallulah. I almost guarantee it. It has to. Because these don't look wider than like a traditional business card. So I don't know how much these cost. But they are fantastic. This is going to be really, really good for the Tallulah. I can't wait to try this. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping that this was going to be this size, and it is. I think this is going to be it. They call this one the Maramon Card Card Notebook. Um, I don't know if they're up on the site yet. <clears throat> if anyone wants to check, probably be quicker than me. Um, well, here, I'll scroll through the new arrivals real quick. <clears throat> but they'll be coming. If they're not up, they'll be in the next couple of weeks. Carnelian's up on the site. Okay, they're not up yet, but they will be. What's the size of those in the comparison to the petite note cards? I think identical, but I don't have one here to test. Let me let me dig in my bag real quick. This the Tallulah. So it's the two pin case that has a note card slot for business cards. I'm trying to see if I have something with uh with a note card stuck in with a petite card in it. I don't think I do. Uh, no, I don't have one. They look identical in size. See if I can read the measurements on here. 86 by 54 millimeters. So we can convert that into, I have the business card size listed on the petite page. Let's try, Let's see what we can find real quick. Yes, I retweeted that from the knock account. That was cool that it fit, I was shocked. I'm glad that it did, because that's a perfect product for that. Uh, knock. Hightower sold out. I need to fix that. What's up with that? Uh, cases, paper goods. All right. Um, 
the um this is the next colorway of the Tallulah. It's the purple and pink and blue one. All right, so the petite card is 50 by 90, and this is 54 by 86. It should fit easily. There's enough. There's enough room. So the width is what we want. The width is 51 millimeters. This is 54 millimeters, and there's plenty of room. It will definitely cover that. These will definitely fit. I am confident in saying that these will definitely fit. Because there's there's got to be 10 15 millimeters of space on each side when you put that in when you put the petite card in there. I think these will absolutely 100% fit. That's why I ordered them to to check and I I think they're going to be on the money. Cool. Neat product. What did I buy here? This is the new friction point knock. Ooh, these are fancy frictions. Like comes in like the blacked out packaging colors. These are 0.4 millimeters with the synergy tip. These are not a needle tip. This is a new friction product. So it's an upgraded barrel, metal tip barrel. Um, it's even got like a chamfer on the end of the tip. I know y'all can't see that. There you can see it a little bit. And so it's a, a clip knock. Whoa, as I shoot it off the table. So it's a clip knock. Okay, so it is kind of a needle-ish tip. I know you can't totally see it here. That looks pretty cool. This is just like an, a kind of an upgraded barrel. It's got a rubber grip section here, wider nose cone. It's just a, a more substantial friction, um, which is cool. I think this is neat. So this is a what, eight color set, pink, red, orange, green, light blue, regular blue, blue, black, black. Very pretty. Nice, I like them. I like them. All right, I think that's it. Nope, one more, th one more thing. Oh, <laughs> this is one of those dumb things I buy sometimes, so I can use it for photography. It's just a binder clip. It's like a black binder clip that JetPens is stocking now. Soon, I don't even know who makes this. Oh, this is nice. So the, the, the it says letter clip, and under it it says hello. It is a nice day. Cool. I can get down with that. I don't know who makes these. It's completely in Japanese. There's not a brand on here anywhere, which is fine. I just bought it because it's a cool looking big black clip that I can use for notebooks and photography and things like that. So very cool. All right, is that it? That's it for the boxes. Good stuff. It's funny. Is it funny that I'm most excited about the teeny tiny notebooks that'll fit in a note in a business card slot? Out of all of these things, the little teeny tiny notebooks got the most of my time, I think. Yes, big fan of the binder clip. It is very underrated. Um, it's one of those things when you need it, um, you really need it for that specific thing. Friction, knock point, no, but I can check. Yeah, they're just kind of perfect. <clears throat> Friction knock point is also today. So finish one last Vex offensive. I did all the basic things I needed to do there, but I never did enough to get the title stuff. I should, pro should probably have paid attention to that sooner than yesterday. So yeah, today is um, today is Chic Sparrow notebook covers, Aboya Richiku 
um, fountain pens, which is the bamboo shape. I love a Boya, but I passed on those um, for review, but they'll be out today. Uh, the Friction Set, the Platinum Prefontaine, uh, a bunch of washi tape, some Zebra Knock Pen art pen that I apparently didn't order, which I thought I would have ordered that. Zebra Click Art Knock Sign Pen. I'll have to check that when it comes out. So yeah, that's today. The Moramon note card pack comes next week on the 17th. It's called the Card Size Memo Pad Pack of Three. Oh, and the uh, that sailor from Nagasawa I didn't know the name of. They're called the Pro Color. And there's a bunch of pretty colors coming for that. So there you go. There you go. So yeah, cool unboxing stuff. Cool stuff. I'm excited about the the Y Studio to see if the uh ooh are these do these friction refills are they G2 and juice size? If they are they the same shape? If so, we can see if they'll fit. Uh, maybe. Let's see. I did not see the Masubi uh, letter this morning, but I need to. Uh, friction point knock. Yeah, friction point knock. They're just kind of a fancier friction barrel. All right, let's see if this fits. So I break all my fingernails opening this. Who needs fingernails, right? Yep, I think this is gonna be the ticket. We win, I think. Let's see if it's got it tightens up in there. Just gotta make sure it's not loose. That it's long enough. Perfect. That's it. So the you can see how perfect of a fit that is. The camera focuses on it. So it's basically a pilot G2 shape refills will fit. Pilot juice is what I'll use. Pretty cool. That was my assumption. I'm glad we could prove it real quick and I keep trying to unscrew from the barrel. I'm su I'm kind of surprised this one doesn't just unscrew right here. Like it would be, seem like an easy decision, but what do I know? That's fine. You don't refill it enough to complain too heavily about the little screw on dealer in the back. So yeah, there you go. It fits. And that will be swapped out for show. Sure. Awesome. All right, so what else do you want to talk about today? I got another 15, 20 minutes or so. So we got to jump off of here. I'm using the very bright. I got to hold this back. It's so bright, I know the camera's not going to pick it up. This is one of those pop-up shop editions. This was from a like an address mistake I made on my envelopes when I was sending out. So I opened it up and I needed a little scratch pad here on the desk at Studio B. So there you go. That one won. It couldn't be a better choice for me. Dig it. All right, see even supposing. Yeah, so now I gotta figure out what to do with all this stuff. Some of it goes to Sarah, some of it goes to Susan, some of it goes to Jeff, some of it stays with me. I got more stuff at home. 
I think the the Y Studio and the Robiki stuff stay with me. I think everything else is probably going to go out. We'll see. Always like uh, sort them out. Like on the floor by my desk, I just like one for you, 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 one for you. On and on and on and on. Will you ever get decent internet at home? They said by the end of 2020, we should have fiber. So maybe by 2021. <laughs> so they it has been run to the junction box area. So now it just needs to be put into people's homes. So they say next end of 2020 was the last date I got, but just like anything like that goes, you know, we're probably lucky to have it in 2021. A year from now, I would be jumping for joy if I got it within a year. That would I would be ecstatic. For real, but I don't anticipate I I mean, I do not have my hopes up. I mean, we've been there 7 years and we've only had real internet for half that time. <clears throat> Yeah, and these are going to go above ground, though, because we have above ground utilities. So they're going to go pole to pole. So I don't know if that, that cost stays the same. It is definitely expensive, though. That's why it's like we're all waiting. Yeah, they do. Um, they do power line. Power line runs, I believe. In our area, I don't think they'll dig it. They'll go, they'll match the power in my limited understanding of how these things work. <laughs> Who knows? All right, Schmevelin. Good luck. Ta-ta for now. See you tomorrow. Podcast normal time tomorrow, I believe. I don't think I've missed any scheduling. You never know. You never know with me. Um, we're talking about Mike's desk tomorrow. You don't want to miss that. That'll be news to me. And then we'll talk about the uh, the top 10 pins of the decade. And then I'm sure we have so much Ask TPA. One of these next few episodes is going to have to be full Ask TPA. We have some really good questions that I'm not getting to that I, I wanted to save for the show because they're almost too long for me to reply to email and it's, or it works better if I could just ramble. Is there a junior size legal pad with a good paper? I mean, the standard US junior size legal pads no but a5 pads if you're not totally restricted to the size yes you can get anything in a5 that's good and that's close enough unless you have to have that specific measurement otherwise a5 is what you want to look for and you can get any any paper you like in a5 mostly like rhodia the knock pads we sell we sell a ton of the our spiral bound pads um yeah a5 is very common it just depends on how size restricted you are i think they're slightly wider than the junior legal pads but barely when I mean, we were talking like a half inch all the way around kind of kind of thing so if it's just a general size thing just find a5 pads if it's specific to has to be the junior legal size like ampad or some of those no you are sol on that um, Joe Crace at Gentleman Stationer has reviewed legal pads before. That's the only one I know of. Yeah, that's where it'll get you, Cal. That's where it'll get you. Those holders, they are definitely specific for that junior legal pad reason. So, yeah, if you need that, I don't know of any. Check Joe's review on Gentleman Stationer and at least see if one of the brands had a good, good rating. I think one or two of them had a good fountain pen behavior. Um, and then maybe try to find the junior size of that brand. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the kicker. I know, and I like that. I used to carry those, all those folios folio style stuff but it was only to fit legal pads the um, a4s were always are too tall for those for the big ones for the full-size ones 
Does anyone have any, is anyone at work now, like in an office work, like not working for yourself or Andrew who brings all his own stuff? Does anyone have anything cool they use at work um, for stationary purposes for like paper, things like that? <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta reply to Brian real quick. What are you using, Bork and Bork? All the fountain pens on Rodeo Pad. I brought I mean, I brought my own stationery to my to my desk job. It was Rodeo Pads, Dome Pads, and then I had a drawer full of pens and then cases full of pens. <laughs> Knock paper and spoke pen. Yes, you're my best friend. Thank you, Bork and Bork. Yeah, don't waste the good paper on work stuff. Fair. Sorry, I gotta get this text to Brian real quick while I'm thinking about it. I definitely had the the pen cup, like the. Uh, <clears throat> I I wouldn't leave my fountain pens unattended to, so I had a pen cup, um, just like for the loaner pens type of thing, that I didn't care if people stole, so they wouldn't steal my fountain pens. Sorry. Those black and red notebooks are super popular. They do good for fountain pens too. Multiple pilot juice. I use the Kalito so much at my old job. When I wasn't using fountain pens, I was using the Kalito or the DX. Always in Doan paper books. I use the Doan paper ones. And I've talked about this a bunch of times because they had thick covers. And part of my job was I'd have to go from my desk back to our server rooms. I was in IT and I'd always have to have information uh, written down. I guess I could have written it on a note of my phone, but I just always, I loved carrying those notebooks because they were so rigid. I could carry them anywhere and write anywhere. That's a good call, Evan. Yeah. You don't need to buy everyone's printer paper. <laughs> Got to have the decoy pen cup. Got to. If anyone ever grabbed one of my fountain pens without me looking, like if I was sitting on my desk and not paying attention and I had it sitting on the side and they just reached down to like grab something and sign something, they'd always, they generally panic like once they opened it up. Or a lot of times it was a vanishing point. They would know how to like click it and engage it. And they just, they'd look at me and I'd just smile and say, I'd hand them the, the decoy cup and say, here, just use one of these. They're like, okay. <laughs> I did turn someone on to like the ultra fine pilot high tech C though. Back when the Cavalier was a thing, you know, the metal body, um, high tech C barrel. Um, it was a very slim barrel and then you could get the, the 0.3 and 0.4 refills for that. I did turn on to someone to that pen there and bought them that and they loved it. That was like their new favorite pen. I don't think I ever turned anyone into fountain pens, but just on better like gel pens and writing pens. It's a great pen. I can't believe they did away with that barrel. For years after they discontinued that barrel, I would get emails. Years and years and years and years. Not It finally stopped a couple years ago, but that was such a popular pen, pen style. And it wasn't cheap, so I'm surprised they, um, I'm surprised they did away with it. It was like a $30 pen, and you had to buy specific refills for it. Maybe they just didn't sell enough um, because the stock refills didn't fit it and it was just a unique pen so national brand extreme white <clears throat> 
Yeah, people don't know what don't know what to do with the vanishing point when that hits them. So I'm talking to Brian about we have that um I think I, I might have said this last week. Yeah, I just said this last week. The uh, Shopify has an app where you can have the chat thing. Um, so it's it's installed. We're both using it now, and um, we're just trying to refine it. <laughs> like, we took the default time window, which is 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., and I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> I don't want to be answering those those chats until 9 p.m. at night <laughs> on the businessy chat things. So, Yeah. All right, um, I'm hesitant to say this, but my voice feels like it's getting shot way too soon. So I hope I'm not getting sick. So I'll keep pounding this water, but I'm gonna wrap this up today so I can stop talking because it's not getting better the more we go through this. So knock on wood, I'm sure I'm fine, but it's a little bit more than normal. My voice usually doesn't go out this quick, but it, it's uh, it's going. So I'm going to wrap it up today. Y'all are awesome. Thank y'all for everything. All your support, all your viewership, uh, all your friendship. Y'all are fantastic. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.